Here is another piece of skin. The piece on the right looks pretty normal. You can see a hair follicle. You can see sebaceous glands. You can see dermis. You can see epidermis. You can see stratum corneum. Quite frankly, I'm having a very hard time seeing anything abnormal. Perhaps over here, there might be a little bit of an increase in pigmented or nevus cells. Oh, and look at we have a beautiful erector pili muscle, don't we? You don't normally see that. Well, let's go down a little bit and look at the other half of the specimen. And we see more than just a possible minor abnormality. We can see part of that erector pili muscle again. We can see some sweat glands. We can see some dermis. But we could see that there is a fairly well circumscribed area of the epidermis here in which we could see proliferation of pigmented cells both at the junction within the dermis and even slightly deeper within the dermis. In addition, the uh, stratum corneum here is a little thickened. This is another uh, nevus. Any benign proliferation of melanocytes is a nevus. This one happens to be called lentiginous junctional nevus. Now, if you look up the word lentiginous, all it means is a pigmented macule. Lentiginous is almost just synonymous with the term pigmented anything. So it's almost a redundant word uh, to be used here. Nevertheless, there is a specific diagnosis of lentiginous junctional nevus. But if you really care about the patient and about what's really going on, forget the lentiginous part and notice that the majority of activity of nevus cell proliferation here is primarily uh, at the junctional area or at the junction between the dermis and the epidermis. Yes, there are some pigmented nests strictly within the uh, dermis, but most of these uh, cells, which are pigmented, are at the junction. Junctional uh, nevi, which are primarily junctional, are much more uh, worrisome or concerning uh, to the patient's possible uh, potential for malignant melanoma than generally other types of uh, nevuses. And purely intradermal nevi are considered, you know, low risk for, of worry for melanomas, whereas this primarily junctional nevus is always of some concern. Notice that some of these pigmented cells are even ar around some of the dermal blood vessels, but you have to be very careful because there's an inflammatory reaction here. So it's very possible that some of these pigmented cells are not nevus cells, but they are melanin pigment within macrophages as part of this collection of inflammatory cells around the junctional nevus. And I personally suspect that these cells here are melanophages rather than melanocytes. This is a, a litiginous junctional nevus. It's also called hypermelanotic because it looks blacker than it should, which any nevus that's pigmented will look blacker than it should. Thank you very much.